Hello and welcome to Smart Money Reviews with Cy Rodriguez of the imbusiness.com. I'm going to quickly show you how to create private categories and products in your Volusion shopping cart. And the reason you might want to do this is if you want to have products that don't display like this product for example you can see it displays on my shopping cart but if I wanted to have something I sell on my site that people can't see unless they're logged in and they have the privilege to see then that's why I'd want to create the private categories and private products so we're gonna really quickly learn how to do that The first thing we're gonna do is go into our dashboard you have to log in to get there once we're there the very first thing we're going to do is go into customers and accounts. We're going to access our own account. And we'll do that by searching for either our name or our ID. Our, or our, ID. our ID should be number one if we are the store owner. So go ahead and search it out. Go to your ID. And you are going to want to go to special privileges below your ID. And make sure that you allow your access to private sections. So make sure you check this so you don't lock yourself out of your own private sections. That's the very first thing that you're going to want to do. And you're going to want to come back here for each individual customer that you want to have access to the private sections of categories and products. Okay, so now that we know how to allow customers to access the private products and categories, including ourselves, and which we do very first of all, then we can go into our categories and products. First go into the products and we're just going to click on the first product I have here for simplicity and we're going to go to the advanced info which you might have to click if it's not open and you go to product display. When you go down, scroll down on your product display, you're going to find private section customers only. If you don't want customers to see this product, then you're going to click this box. The best thing is to make, if you want a category and the products in it to be private then make sure to make the products and the category private so that no products appear anywhere that you don't want people to have access to unless they're logged in as a private access customer okay so the next thing we're gonna do is check out the categories and I'm gonna actually show you how to do this with one of my categories so I have the category earthing products which you saw earlier we're going to edit it and we're going to make it private so that only private customers could access it. Under advanced info, we're going to miscellaneous and we are going to make this a private selection customers only. And we're going to save it and then you're going to see the results when I go back to the website. So we were in the Earthing Products website. If I refresh the screen, Oh, I didn't do one thing. I need to log out really quick. So we're just going to go ahead and log out of my account. So that shows you I can see it when I'm logged in. But when I log out, I go to refresh the screen again. And it says you do not have access to this page. Please contact customer service for further details on accessing this password protected section. That's what we wanted to do. You can no longer see the earthing products section here under the products. And if I go back to the home page, you can no longer see that section here. So I've made it so that only private access customers can see it. And that's what we wanted to show you. So I hope this video was informative. If you liked it, check out the link be below for the imbusiness.com and sign up and we'll get good information to you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great one.